The museum is located in Hudson, New York. It was founded here in 1925. The old members of the Volunteer Fire Company of New York City said, uh, we've got some apparatus we've been storing in barns. Um, they had been disbanded shortly after the Civil War. Um, and they said, if we give you these apparatus, will you build a museum? And they said, yes. I just like just looking at the history, you know, the, the history of, of the fire service here. That's my favorite part. My fire company, which is the oldest in New York State, my fire company was founded in 1794. About 14 years ago, the city of Hudson built a new central fire station. We had to move out of an old station built in 1865 into a new station. We had limited room for our artifacts, so we donated our desk and just a number of items from our old firehouse, and now it's a display right here, and it's really, it's, it's great to see that. So it started as a very small museum, and over the years, uh, they've added uh, different uh, additions to the museum, so that's become uh, one of the largest fire museums in the United States. That being said, uh, it also has the distinction of having the premier collection of firefighting apparatus, equipment, art, and artifacts in the United States. So we do tours uh, here at the museum from anywhere from preschool all the way up to 100. I do adult tours. The children, we tend to have uh, the discovery cart that we use is things from the children's everyday lives. Uh, and we try to relate it to the history of firefighting. So we have a broom that we show the children that they can feel and they can relate to the thatch roofs that existed in the 1700s. Or I have a leather purse and the children can relate that to the leather buckets that they use for the bucket brigade. Um, I try to connect the learning to the, for the children into their everyday lives. I love teaching the children. Um, first and foremost, actually we had an incident a few years ago, the, a young girl came here to the museum she learned about fire safety, and unfortunately, a year later, she had a fire at her house, and she was actually the one who woke up her family and alerted her family due to the smoke alarms and got them out safely, and she actually quoted that she learned everything about fire safety here at the museum. We've also got our big Dalmatian Day event, and we have over 2,000 people on the grounds here for that event. Um, we have live dogs and fire prevention and safety games and shows, and it's just become a real community event. And of course, we're restarting the muster. Um, that was um, a staple here on the grounds for years, so that's also very exciting. One of my favorite pieces of apparatus is the ride truck that's right behind us because it has a unique history. Um, it actually fought a fire in Rye, New York at the venue that George and Barbara Bush got married at. So we always say if that truck did not exist, that maybe they would not have gotten married there. So one of the wonderful pieces of apparatus we have in our collection is the Nusham engine. Um, it's um, from 1730. Um, it's not like any fire engine that you would see today. It's made out of wood. Um, it came over on the ship Beaver from England, and it was just a wonderful piece of apparatus. It does bring back memories. There's a, a fire engine behind me in 1950 or so, American La France, and my company had a 1956 American La France that was in service when I joined. And, uh, it just brings back memories of the first truck that I drove. I think people visit the museum for a lot of different reasons. Um, we would like to say whether you're a fire buff, um, a family on a day trip, or a student of history, you're going to find something here. Um, but it, it goes much deeper than that. You come in and you see 60 fire engines on display and why that is wonderful. Um, if you dig deeper, there are all kinds of cultural and social significance to these apparatus and these artifacts. Um, for example, if you look at our John Rogers pumper and you look at it and it's ornate and it's beautiful and of course you fall in love with it, um, with the oil paintings and everything that has to do with it. But if you look closer, you'll notice that some of the, the uh, ornamentation has to do with masons, same, same kind of imagery. And that's because a lot of times back in the 1800s, masons were also firefighters. So now you've just made that connection. There's a little of something for everybody, whether you love firefighting or you're looking for something to take your family to do because we have lots of hands-on activities or you just are a history buff. Um, coming here from a firefighting background with family and fire service, I didn't know three quarters 
of the history that existed. I've been to many fire fighting museums in the country and this is the best museum by far that I've ever been to. And I think just the collection of the apparatus combined with the artifacts we have from the history of the New York City Fire Department and the Volunteer Fire Service in New York State is, is outstanding. It's just great, for, especially if you're a fire buffer, you have a high respect and want to learn about the fire service, this is the place to come. Someone once said, and I'm paraphrasing that, they could think of no better symbol of man's humanity to his fellow man than a fire truck. And I think that just speaks volumes. I mean, um, neighbors helping neighbors. I mean, that's just an unfortunately outdated concept, but it survives to this day in the volunteer fire service. And who could imagine that someone that you don't even know is gonna jump on a fire engine in the middle of the night for no pay to go to your home to help protect your property and possibly your life. And to think that it survived all these hundreds of years and is still thriving. That's really amazing and it makes this museum even more special.